Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samoya and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. On this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We cover niche perfume houses. We go over layering combos. We talk about dupes and clones of original fragrances, highlight indie perfume brands on the channel, all things fragrance. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos because you never know which fragrance house or perfume topic we're gonna cover next. So we have been on the topic of gourmand fragrances vanilla fragrances uh however i have here some samples from crystal fragrance that we received with our escapade gourmand full bottle purchase i do have an unboxing and a first impressions on all of these samples that we're going to be exploring um i i would not consider this a full-on gourmand fragrance i wouldn't because to me it has a pretty deep musky base a musky undertone um you know it's got some agar wood as well and patchouli oh man um i will say that this is a really strong long-lasting fragrance yes i will say that right off the bat um, when I did my first impressions, I could not believe that I was not picking up any fruits whatsoever. So I could not wait to put this on my skin because on the test strip, all I was picking up was the musk, the underlying undertone of musk that kept pointing my nose in the direction of a uh, fragrance says like Herba Pura, Zerjov's La Capital as well. But there are some differences there with Herba Pura and with La Capital. Um, I read quite a few reviews. I mean, the fragrance has been around since 2018, so a little late to this party. I've always wanted to wear test this. I'm so happy that, you know, I was so happy when I saw it in the samples. So the notes in this fragrance are caramel, peach, strawberry, and raspberry, which you, I got none of those. And this is Couture, Juicy Couture's Gold Couture. Caramel, beautiful comforting enveloping nostalgic fragrances that these are really really nice and yes it does lead my nose to especially the caramel uh feel of the couture and the fruit the way that the fruits are kind of lined up now that is just at the way beginning though because in, when it start immediately starts to dry down, I start to pick out something different, uh, a little bit of you know um, class. I'm saying. So what comes out next really leads my nose towards Zerjov's La Capital. Now I only have a decant, and I use it very sparingly. This is the original fragrance here, Zerjov La Capital. Then I have a dupe from Andromeda's Moon. She did amazing on this dupe. Amazing. This is um, this is a great, great rendition. I love the way that the strawberry comes across in this fragrance and the leather. Love it. So the strawberry note is what I pick out prominently in La Capital. In Byron's Mula Mula, I do not pick out the strawberry or the peach or the raspberry. I get fruits with the caramel in the same fashion that I do with, you know, the juicy fragrance there. Or even Fantasy by Britney Spears. Um, and a couple of others actually by Britney Spears as well. I also have here, <laughs> this has been saving me because La Capital is so expensive. I've not been able to get a hold of it. Um, I have oil perfumeries, La Capital, beautiful. Layer this underneath the Andromeda's Moon and I have the same vibe, the same aura, um, you know, that, that, I, that I want to experience. So the same feel that I get is the, the, the fruits mixed with the muskiness. I don't know, like there's the same type of smell I get in Zerjov's La Capital and Zerjov's Herba Pura. At the beginning of this fragrance though, this is full on tropical. I mean, tropical fruits. These are very, very tropical. This is definitely not like the Juicy. This is not like the Byron's Mula Mula, the opening at all. And the dry down is pretty like tonic to me, like uh, the vanilla and and animalic. It that's what Zerjov, Zerjov's Herba Pura gives me. However, there there's just this tone, this musky tone 
that reminds me. Byron Perfumes Mula Mula reminds me of this musky tone or feel that I get from Herba Buddha that to me makes this extremely unisex. So yes, extremely unisex. However, um, you could definitely layer and add more fruits to this, I feel, to make it, you know, more feminine. So this was really strong. This held on all day long. It is on my clothes. I mean, it projected nicely. This is a strong fragrance. I was really happy with the, the performance of it. Definitely. Um, so similar, you know, the aura that I'm getting, but definitely not same in smell. Like they do not smell exactly the same. Um, Byron here's Mula Mula is definitely in its own, you know, little lane because it's, it doesn't, um, have like a vanillic dry down. It doesn't have, even though it has vanilla and musk in the dry down, it doesn't go as vanillic as this does. This, that's what I love about Zerdrops Everbuda is that eventually you get this beautiful vanilla musk. And, um, I don't, I didn't get that from the mula mula but i got a lovely wear this was a nice nice fragrance i really did appreciate it um so how would i like to accentuate my fruits i mean pick your poison <laughs> i would either accentuate with anything strawberry i have here strawberry soda i have found that this one just layers so nicely under fragrances and just really catapults them strawberries to the front we have fresh strawberries bubbly seltzer and crushed ice accentuate those peaches add a little cream there is no creaminess to this fragrance but you can add it we have peach prosecco uh, vanilla cream and the macaron cookie and you could definitely add the peach uh, there's a couple other peaches you could add but they also have jasmine so i didn't really want to throw jasmine into the mix here then we have raspberry. Anything raspberry would go so nice. It um, Enchanted Candy Potion has bewitched berries, but I really do think it smells like, like raspberry. And Autumn Drive here has wild raspberry, warm amber, and vanilla birch. So this would go great. This would actually amplify a little bit the masculine tone that I'm getting on my skin, um, especially in this dry down. But I still, I still, whoa, did I drop this? I still wouldn't mind. Oh yeah, I would not mind wearing this at all. Autumn Drive with Byron's Perfumes Mula Mula. That would go so nice. <laughs> um, so is this, the feel of this fragrance, like I'm saying, is it, it's in its own lane. It really is because even though it's pointing me towards some Zerdoff, it's not, exactly performing the way that those do um the Zerdoff La Capital has that prominent strawberry note to me and it also has a prominent leather note you could really sense and feel that leather and that labdanum and in the Mula Mula I don't ever get that labdanum come out you know um, to where I can smell it smelling like leather and in Zerdoff's Capital I do I do and um, I really appreciate that actually from the Capital. And it's okay that it's not in the Mula Mula. I don't mind it at all. <laughs> um, so interesting, interesting fragrance. This is a definite like for me. I really did enjoy the fragrance. I mean, woo, <laughs> it was nice. Do I have a couple of things in the collection that I could wear? that smell like them though, that smell like it, yes. So for that reason, I wouldn't be rushing out, you know, this is not a straight up vanilla, I need all 50 vanilla type situation. <laughs> There's another fragrance by Andromeda's Moon, actually. Oh, and I didn't prepare it. Give me two seconds. Is it Amaterasu? No, it's Persephone. It has to be Persephone. Persephone, I believe, also Yes, I believe it's Persephone. Ah, where, where am I spraying? Is it Persephone or is it Amaterasu? You guys, there's one of these two fragrances. Gosh, I don't think it was Persephone. <laughs> Let me spray Amaterasu. That it was also reminding me of... 
I think it's this one. I think it's Amaterasu. Amaterasu also gives me this, um, you know, La Capital vibe. Yeah, per Persephone's giving me something lemony, actually. And it's been a while since I revisited. But these are original fragrances from uh, Andromeda's Moon. And it also points me one of these anyways. And I think it's amateur. So, yep, it was this one. It points me in the direction of the M Mula Mula. And, um, and a little bit of the Capital. I love this. <laughs> this one is good. If you want to check out the review for Amateurso, um, then uh, you can totally check out those notes, how the wear test went. I remember I was having jury duty the week that I did this, these reviews. So it's always going to remind me of of the, the building <laughs> that I was in. Okay. Uh, yeah, that just came to mind. There's another one. It's called Kitsune, but I don't believe that's going to point me in this direction. So for that reason, because I have several fragrances that I feel, even though in its own, it's, it's in, in its own lane though, it really is. If I could just, again, here's another one. If I had a million dollars, you know, I'd be like, yes, I need this one too. <laughs> so this, this is a go. This is a good, a good option uh, for me. I would, I would definitely go for it if I had the funds for sure. <laughs> Loved it. Yeah beautiful performance I mean it went the distance it really did I didn't feel it go skin scent ter territory I really do feel like it would be a compliment getter if I were out there somewhere um and it went really nice with with my skin chemistry so if you're a fan of Mula Mula and um also you know I didn't look up any up any dupes or clones and I believe Andromeda's Moon has one um, I think it's going to be the price point here for me with this fragrance for sure. All right, you guys, thank you so much. That was it. I just wanted to get on here real quick and, and give this review for Mula Mula and uh, let you guys know what where it was pointing me in. I just had so many thoughts all day. It's like, oh, it smells like that now. Oh, it smells like that. <laughs> okay, you guys have a blessed rest. It's really, really late here, so I got to go. You have a blessed rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe. Thanks. Bye-bye.